Closed captioning brought to you by Minority Health Publication. Fit Zone sends special thanks to Transformate Fitness, 6620A on Centers Drive, Holland, Ohio. Pretty Girls Rock Publication is celebrating their one year anniversary. Pretty Girls Rock Publication would like to thank their readers and friends for their continued support. Visit us at prettygirlsrockpublications.com. Every woman is beautiful. Pretty Girls Rock. Welcome back to The Fit Zone. We're here today at Progressive Therapy Alternatives with Caroline Humberston. She's a physical therapist that's going to be talking with us today and teaching you how to work past any of your injuries or things that are stopping you from getting to your goals. How are you doing today, Caroline? Great. How are you? Doing good. Thank you to the set. So tell me a little bit about what the difference is between a physical therapist and a chiropractor and what makes your business different than others in the area. Okay. Well, what physical therapy is, is it's a healthcare specialty that's designed to help diagnose, evaluate, and treat musculoskeletal injuries. Right. So we pull in together not only the skeletal system, but how the muscles affect the skeletal system. So we're a little bit different than most chiropractors because it seems like most chiropractors rely strictly on the bone system, right. the skeletal system, and making sure it's aligned correctly. And we can do that as well, but we really focus more on the muscles and how the muscles are affecting their pull on the bone. That's totally different. That, that is really neat. So let's talk about someone that has a shoulder injury or elbow injury or knee injury. What kind of things or I guess I would say assessments do you offer to someone specific to their injury? Well, we have a lot of different specialty available that's um, with our company. Our company is a Progressive Therapy Alternatives is a clinic that's made of, we actually have eight clinics or so in the greater Northwest Ohio area. Eight. Wow. <laughs> okay. And so, um, so there's a demand definitely out there, there for is. this. A lot of them are in the rural areas, but we do have two in Toledo, one in Maumee on okay. Henthorne Drive, and then one in, uh, on Toledo, in Toledo on Sylvania Avenue between Secor and Douglas. Okay. We have several specialties within our company. We have a corrective movement program. We have um, a pelvic floor program. We have a LSVT big program specifically for neurological and Parkinson's disease. We have a fall risk program, so it's designed to help prevent people from falling. Wow, now that's big, especially. So those are like specialties within the field of physical therapy, which is uncommon in our area. And we also, our company prides ourselves in having one-on-one -on -one treatments with every person. So for an hour at least, they get one-on-one -on -one attention from the therapist or therapist assistant that they're working with at every single treatment. You will not be seen by a technician. You will not be seen for only 20 minutes or just do your manual therapy and out you do, do your exercises on your own. We pride ourselves in really getting in there hands-on, making sure that you do every exercise correctly, making sure that you do everything as you need to do and actually to fix the problem. Excellent, so I come in fitness enthusiast and I'm having a problem with my shoulder. What kind, what is an assessment? What, when I come in, what, it, what goes through the assessment? So if you have a shoulder problem, which is kind of classified under the orthopedic versus neurological category, you would, probably see me or my, one of my other colleagues that does orthopedic injuries. Um, what we would do is a corrective movement assessment. We would look and see the dynamics of the mechanics of how your shoulder works. So are the muscles pulling evenly on everything that they should be? There's a lot of mechanics that go into the shoulder. So we would look and make sure that the shoulder blade is moving like it should be and that it's moving in relation to the arm bone like it should be. And there are lots of moving parts. The neck really plays into the shoulder quite a lot. Okay. And the only place, interestingly enough, that your shoulder actually attaches to your body by bone is right here at your clavicle and your sternum. So if you're really having problems, injuries, something's bothering you, it's more important that you come see a physical therapist over a chiropractor. A chiropractor does have or fill certain needs, but when we're talking about injuries, it's very good to come see a physical therapist. Now when does it, if you don't mind me asking you one more question before mm -hmm. we move over to assessment, do most of your referrals then come from first going to a doctor or as a patient am I able to assess is it better to come to a physical therapist or going to see my doctor? 
Well, what we can do, our company offers health screens. So if you have a neurological problem, if you have a balance problem, if you have an orthopedic problem, you can call us and schedule a, a free 15-minute screen Excellent. that we can take a look and see what we would need. Then we would be able to refer you to either a physician who would then in turn write you a prescription in order to attend therapy, or we can take care of that for you, or we could contact your physician's office with a letter and let them know that, that you have this problem and that we would be happy to um, take a look and evaluate you in a little bit more detail. It's actually and give working them a with the doctor. Correct. Actually working with the doctor. Correct. Excellent. So we're going to come back and Caroline is going to show us an actual assessment on a patient. And if anyone wanted to get in touch with their office about doing the 15 minute free, mm -hmm. free again, assessment, again, how do they contact your office? What is the best way to do that? The best way to do that is probably at our centralized location. It's at our Henthorne Drive location, but you wouldn't have to come there. You could come to any of our facilities. That phone number is 419-866-5196. Okay. Would you say that one more time just sure. to make sure they got to get sure. your pen and pencil? It's 419-866-5196. Thanks. So make sure you come back. We're going to show you what an actual assessment looks like. Thanks a lot. So when you, when you go to the assessment, you just actually going to... To learn more about gum disease in your heart, pick up the October issue of the Minority Health Publication or visit my website, ericawhite.net. Hi, we're still here at Progressive Therapy Alternatives, and we have Ryan here that's going to help us with Caroline, show you what an assessment looks like, what to expect when you come in. You're going to cut this down so we won't see a full assessment. Of course, if you want a Correct. full assessment, 419-866-5196. Thank you. But if you want a full assessment, come on in. So let's go, show me what was happening. So Ryan, what kind of problems are you having? Low back pain. Low back pain, which is pretty... What that is like, what, the number one, how many, one in, was it one in ten people or one in five people? Yes, it's very, very common. Very common. So, okay, I'm going to step back some and walk us through the assessment, what it looks like if I was coming as a patient. So, Ryan had low back pain. Did you have an injury, Ryan? No, I just bent over to pick something up and it immediately started. Was it something heavy? No. Okay, so just bent over randomly to pick something light up and it started. Yes. And does it hurt? In the back at the lower part? Yes. Both sides or one side? Right down in this section here. Right in the center in the low back. Okay. So what we're going to do is just kind of take a look at what could be the problem. So I would have already asked Ryan what contributing factors may have been. So what kind of work does he do? What does that demand of him? What are his hobbies? If he has any fitness hobbies or any, you know, just photographers or, or anybody that bends over frequently, anything like that could and This contribute. is pretty common then, uh -huh. people doing this, just well, if you think bending about over, bending Everything we up. do all day long is bending forward. We never do anything where we're bending backward. So we have a Good tendency point. to hurt our back. <laughs> okay. so, so let's stand up, Ryan. Let's take a look at your back. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of take a look real quick and see if there's anything that stands out in my mind from my training. Okay, so we're looking at Ryan's back and he has some back pain. It's all localized right here. We're looking at his back. It's a little bit flat. We can tell, if you could just turn just this way a little bit, Ryan, you can tell that right here, his hip, where his pelvis and his spine meet, or excuse me, where his pelvis and his hip meet, there's a little bit, of, it, it's not really much of an angle. There should be just a little bit of an angle here where the pelvis tips a little bit forward. Okay. And there's really not much of one there. So I'm already thinking that something's kind of going in the direction of bending forward. So I'm going to take a look at Ryan bending forward. Ryan, would you bend over like you're going to touch your toes, please? Okay. And then come on back up. Did that hurt you? A little bit. Right here where your primary yes. problem was? Yes. Okay. So I'm looking at Ryan. He didn't bend real well through the hips. He bent a little bit more through the back than he did through the hips. You're supposed to initiate that forward bend through the hips just a little bit. So I'm going to cue him and see if we can take that pain away. Ryan, if you, when you bend forward, would you bend right here at your ball joint first, right in your hip? Make sure that you're sticking your seat out just a little bit, then bending forward. Good. Oh, I even noticed a difference in his back when he did that. And then come back up. Good. Any pain with that? No pain at all. Wow. So you went from having pain and no pain just by changing how he moved. 
that's kind of the name of the move, corrective movement assessment. If we can do that immediately, then we know that we're on to something, and there's something that we can fix. There's not a medical problem. Have a seat on the edge of the bed here, Ryan. Now, these have a neat name that you were telling me about. What are, what are these actually called? Which ones? The vets or? Oh, the plinth? Plinth. Yes. There it is. It's a physical therapy fancy name, I guess, for it. I'll be using that in word search or scramble. <laughs> so we're going to kind of look at the next posture of Ryan's back here. Okay. And he told me he sat a lot for his work, so I'm going to pay a lot of attention. If he's spending six to eight hours a day sitting, that's going to be in important detail for me to know that that's what he's putting his back in a prolonged position for all day long. Okay. So I'm looking at his sitting posture. He's a little bit flattened back here, and he's a little bit curved up here, so maybe works on a computer, maybe bends forward quite a bit. Does it hurt you to sit, Ryan? After a while. After a while. Okay. Now, so I kind of want to see what the, his back does when he does something with his leg. So, Ryan, would you slowly kick your foot out straight for me, please? And back down. I'll kick this foot out straight for me, please. And back down. Did either one of those hurt you? Not really. Okay. Try the right one again. So while he's doing that, let me ask you, what are you feeling or what are you looking for? In I his am back? looking for his back if there's any movement here whatsoever. So Anything along in this area, if it's moving, feel a little abnormalities, that's correct. basically what you're looking so for. So when he lifts his right foot up in the air, oh. I see that his back moves. Okay. Okay, set your right foot down. Now lift your left foot up in the air. It doesn't happen. <laughs> you're right, it doesn't. So it's different <laughs> from one side to the next. So my, my guess would be, without having asked him specifically, that his injury probably was happening by bending forward and leaning over to the left. Well, we shouldn't do this at home. You don't no. want to. We don't it, want it's to hard to it's hard to really understand how but, to fix right. it. Right, but it was amazing when you just showed that that I actually saw the difference in his mm -hmm. back from moving leg. Oh. So let's see, and it didn't bother him, so I'm not going to focus a lot of attention on it. But we're, the way we would fix it is have him sit up a little taller so that he gets a little bit more of a curve back here. Okay. Ryan, go ahead and lift your foot up again. Still moves a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just stop when you feel your back wiggle a little bit. Kick your foot up again. Good, and back down. So he was able to control it. So what's happening is, is his hamstring attaches on his the back of his pelvis. He has a tight hamstring. So it's going around the back of the face. Right here. Okay. So when he kicks his foot up in the air, if he has a stiff hamstring, his pelvis is going to rock back like this, making his back bend. So he doesn't have enough control in his back muscles on this side to counter how heavy his hamstring is pulling on his pelvis. So what's happening is, is he is getting an excessive movement here, contributing possibly to his injury of his back pain or his complaint of his back pain. So what we would teach him to do is to make these muscles work a little harder and then kick the right foot up in the air so that he's still taking and putting strain on the hamstring, but he's not causing any movement fault back here in his back. Okay. Of course, this is a shorter assessment, much shorter, just sure. to um, share with this audience this morning. So, really comprehensively taking a look at the body and what movements it's doing and, and how is it moving through its range of motion and, and where are the faults? And are those faults causing pain or are they just faults? We all have faults. None of us moves perfectly. Right. But are those movement faults actually causing us pain? And that's how we give you the corrective exercises to fix the problem. So there is, people don't have to feel depressed or discouraged when dealing with the injury. It's very hard from athletes, fitness enthusiasts, people who work out. The thing that can totally stop you in your tracks is having an injury, a pull, a tear. And there are physical therapists in our area that are able to assess you and to get you back into working out. We really appreciate your time. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. You running Thank anything you. lately? Any Nothing marathon? Nothing soon. Nothing soon? Next year. Next year. So you're getting you're gonna be practicing your Yeah, I'll be practicing up. my bends. Thank <laughs> you. We want you to come back. We have more with the fit zone this morning. Come right back here. I'm trying to think all the fun stuff we have. Well, come back and find out, but I will tell you it includes a workout. Thanks you guys. So what else are you? So you said more marathons, more
Become a member of the Great Smiles Discount Program. Card holders enjoy 25% discounts. Call Great Smiles for more information today. You can also use the promotional fit code 1087 to aid in the fight against breast cancer. 10% of your purchase proceeds can be donated by using the coupon code FITT1087 to donate. Good morning and welcome to the Fit Zone Kitchen. This morning I am minus my cooking partner T Dandy. She is in Barbados or Cancun or something like that. I think she's having a good time as she forgot to send me the recipes that I was supposed to use this week. So that gave me a chance to be creative. So all night I waited, debated, and created these neat recipes. It took me all night, which is why I have on the sock monkey pajamas, but otherwise we're gonna have a great time this morning. I'm going to show you how to make baked kale chips, chocolate-covered bananas, and a neat twist on Air Pop popcorn. So let's get right to it. Let me show you how to get these recipes made at home. So we started off with a half a cup of kale. Now if you notice it is, it looks more like one cup here when you push it down. It's actually about one cup. Took that and added that to a small dish. From there I added one tablespoon of olive oil. Yep. So I'll mix that around, get all the leaves equally coated. I'm going to take it from there, dump the leaves, you can actually just dump them in, I mean, really. Take it around, and I'm going to take and put that in the oven and bake that for 400, at 400 degrees until it is crispy. For our next quick recipe, we began with frozen bananas, which we took, sliced in half. Hey, why I have this band aid? And we melted about two chunks of chocolate inside the bowl. I'm going to place the banana on a stick. There we go. And I'm going to roll it in the chocolate. What you want to do is roll it in the chocolate and get it rolled. Yeah, there's my chocolate banana. So we're going to start off here. We're making popcorn, fresh pop popcorn. So I'm not going to add any butter into the base. Actually, I'm going to eyeball it and add some popcorn in here. Go to the line and take that off. Add the lid back on, just like you would normal popcorn, and add a bowl underneath. And I'm going to add unsalted light butter at the top. Okay, so here's our popcorn. We type, popped in our popcorn popper, and we're gonna to top it. This butter is actually unsalted butter, and it's also light. There it is. That's it. That's how simple it is. I hope you will try these recipes at home. You will enjoy them. You can make them for a family, for a late night snack, while you're watching football, and even sneaking them into the movies. But I do want to show you one additional little tip. This is nutritional yeast. Actually, if you sprinkle it on top of the popcorn, it's a lot healthier for you, and it actually tastes just like cheese. Write in and let me know. Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to be getting into the workout with you guys, and we have a special treat for you. Welcome back to the Fit Zone. We're excited to have you here with us this morning. We're all set to begin the workout. Before we get started, of course, where we begin is with the warm up, getting the mind and body ready for movement. Hey, DJ Impress, would you go on and drop that beat? Let's go on and take those legs out, shoulder width apart. We're going to start with a nice, easy march like this. March. Now, you got to get the arms in there moving. You just can't move those legs. And if you smile, that adds extra calories. Here we go. Keep here. Now we're going to transition to a new move. We're going to take that right hand overhead in four, three, two, and one. Reach up, 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 
job. Nice job. Keep it here. Looking good out there. We're getting ready to transition to the next move. We're going to start with shoulder roll. Right arm in four, three, two, and one. Uh-oh, let's count there. Nice job. Transition to the next move. We're going to sit it down and bring the hands front to back. Here we go. In four, three, two, last one. Sit it down right here. Front to back. Like you're swimming, front to back. Front to back. Give me a few more. We're going to transition to the next move, taking the hands overhead in the diamond shape. Give me one more. Go on and bring it back. Take the arms up like this. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. We're going to transition to that next move in four. Three. We're going to take the arms up and down. Hold it here. Arms here. Up and drop. Up and drop. Up. We're going to go ahead and take that out. Arms here. Brush it all the way up. <sighs> nice job. We're going to not ask you. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good warm up. <laughs> Please don't go anywhere. We want you to come right back here and do the workout with us. If you love the warm up, you should see the workout, right? Yeah. All right. Let's not go anywhere. Are we ready to walk, guys? Yes, I did. Welcome back to the workout. We're getting ready to begin. So to start with the workout, we want you to go ahead and take out your legs shoulder width apart. How are you guys doing this morning? Doing good? All right. So instead of showing you the workout before we begin this time, I'm actually going to preview each move with you and walk you through it. So go ahead. We're going to be working our back today, lower back, upper back, shoulders, chest. We're going to hit everything in here. So impressed, would you go ahead and drop the beat? Right. Nice job. Right. You want to take those tight. legs out, shoulders apart. <laughs> Lean it over, chest is up. We're going up and drop. Up and drop. This is Maroon 5, isn't it, guys? I love Maroon 5. Here we go. Up and drop. You got some tickets, Amy? <laughs> so keep it here. I'm going to preview the next move. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and turn right here to Tasha. As you notice, her chest is up. She's keeping her arms at shoulder height. Keep it on my light goal pose. Bring that arm out just a little farther, Tasha. Nice job. Keep it there. I'm going to preview the next move. I'm going to sit my weight all the way in my heels and take it out and in for that back row. Join me here, guys. Nice job. So I'm keeping that the same. All the weight is in my heels. Chest is up. Turn it to me. How you doing this morning, Teresa? What's up, Mary? Nice job. So if you notice their arms, in and out, close to the side. Nice job, Kevin. Keep it here. I'm going to preview the next move. We're going to take the arms overhead, stopping right here, shoulder height. You guys want to join me? Let's go. Up and drop. Up and drop. Nice job. Keep it here. Here we go. In four. Here's Amy. Nice job, Amy. Is that a five o'clock shadow? No, I'm just joking. Keep it there. Perfect. Here's the next move, guys. I'm going to preview. Touch the elbows. The elbows, not the hands. Touching the hands does no flexion. But bring it in, bring it in. All right, guys, come on and join me. Let's go. In and open. Strong. Make sure you're still paying attention to that lower body. Weight is in the heel. Slide in the knee. Push that belly button in. We're about to add a new move. I'm going to preview for you here. I'm going to play the drum. Play the drum. All right, guys, let's go. Play it. And we're going to do this move slow, Teresa, okay? One arm slow is down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Going and switch it. Down and up. There you go. Back to singles. Here we go. We're only going down. Shoulder height with this one. Woo, you feeling that burn? Give me a few more. In four, three, two. Drop it back down from the beginning. Pull it up. Let's go. Up. Up. Eyes are up. Chest up. Sit it down. Back row. Back and out. Come on. That's a good job. Nice job. Bring them in. Take them up. 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 You have that core lock? Nice job. 
Stop it here. Touch the elbows. Bring them in. Touch them. Good work. Keep those arms up. Keep them up. Keep them up. All right. Play the drums here. I don't care which arm you're on. Just play it. Have some fun with it. One arm drumming. I think DJ and Press will party for you guys. Switch it. Give me two. Switch it. Come on. All right, Impress. <laughs> Give us a couple more here and take us out. Single it out. Single. DJ <laughs> Nice job. All right, don't go anywhere. Come back. I'm glad you guys are feeling really good this morning. We got to cool you down. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, you don't need any weights with that. But don't go anywhere because we got more to go on, don't we, guys? Yeah. All right. Nice job this morning, Teresa. Nice job. Whoa, whoa. If you haven't seen Northwest Ohio's first and only late night show, don't miss Game Savvy Late Night Sunday mornings at 1 a.m. on WNWO. Hi, welcome back to the Fit Zone. We're very happy that you joined us this morning. I would like to share something with you about the cool down before we begin. You need to be holding your stretches for a minimum of four to seven seconds for them to be essential to your body. So we'll go ahead and get started bringing that mind and body back together. DJ and Press, drop that beat. <laughs> Want to take those legs out a little width apart? Let's take those palms up. Reach it up. Let the head drop back. Breathing in. At the top, turn the palms out. Bring it down. Blow it out. Let the head drop back down to the chest. Open the palms back up. Bring it back up. Breathe it in. Bring it down. Blow it out. Nice job. We're going to start those shoulder rolls to the back. Back. Shoulder rolls. Here we go. In four. Nice job. Three. Two. We're going to transition. Bringing that right arm across the chest. Right here. Grabbing on the forearm. Not the elbow. Look in the opposite direction. Wiggle the finger. Nice job. Drop it down and transition to the other arm. Bring it across. Look in the opposite direction. Wiggle the finger. Nice job. You want to bring those arms back down. Reach front and back. It's front and back and front. Just two more. Then we're going to take the hands behind the back and keep them there. Bring the arms behind you. Interlock the thumbs like so and pulse in. In. Feeling that stretch in the arms. In four, three, two, and one. Sit it down here. Reach it all the way up again. Come back down to the floor. All the positive energy. We hope you'll come back and join us next Sunday. And you can also visit me at my website, ericawhite.net. Nice job. Bring it back up. Blow it out. Nice job. One more movement, guys. To the front. Shoulder roll to the front. Last one. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for Sunday today. We hope you'll see you back here next Sunday. We had a great time with you guys. And again, go to the website, ericawhite.net, and you can download another copy of this and keep it going. Right, guys? All right. Thank you. Enjoy your week. Nice job, guys. <laughs>